Up with Krim begins now. 6.30 this morning, there's some trouble with Washington's unemployment website. Meant to make things better, thousands of applicants keep saying they're getting kicked out. We check in with state leaders to see why the online unemployment upgrade failed thousands. And requests continue to grow at our food banks in the Inland Northwest. We'll tell you how one organization is teaming up with local restaurants to feed people who need a little extra help. And hey, do you want to surprise your coworkers during your next video conference call? I cannot not laugh when I see that picture. I'm sorry. Uh, you can now arrange to have a farm animal make an appearance. Here's how it works. Go to sweetfarm.org, take a look at the online bios of some of the animals, choose an animal to join your business meeting, and the site offers a range of dates and time slots. Now prices start at 100 bucks, of course, you can find, I think, some cheaper ones if you have a small group, which begs the question as we welcome in our teammates here this morning here on Up With Krim. I want to ask them, so Jen, if we're uh, doing our post-show Zoom meeting and a llama suddenly pops up, do we get any work done at all? <laughs> I'm always multitasking, so I'm going to say yes. Really? <laughs> During our Zoom meeting, I don't know how we would get it done if a llama's sitting there talking to us. You think so? I sure think so, okay. but it'd make work a little more exciting, huh? All right. I, I think so. I think, Dana Marie, if we all pitch in and all of us in our Zoom meeting, producers, directors, like 10 bucks, we could, we could come up with something like that, don't you think? I, would, I think that would be so fun. I also love baby cows, calves, okay. and I think they're so cute and so fluffy, and if they have one of those, that is worth $100 to me, to just see its cute little face, and maybe it could bring some happiness to our viewers, too. We can share the love. Love it. See what we can do. Jen and Dana Marie will be checking in with in just a little bit here on Up With Krim. We do want to start with our Tuesday forecast. Evan, what do you think? Would you rather see a goat, a llama, baby cow? You got a preference? Oh, a baby cow <laughs> would be yeah. so cute. But what I will say is I think we should just add it to the show every morning and just have a, instead of a four box split like this, have five boxes and throw in, you know, farm animals, various farm animals. We could even, there are so many, one, I found a, a thread on Twitter that was just live cameras from zoos and I spent the whole afternoon on it. So, I mean, you got a plethora of options as far as the farm animals go and just zoo oh, yeah. animals in general. Uh, let's take a look, like you said, Joshua, of your Tuesday forecast. Tuesday looking very similar to what the forecasts look like on your Monday. So we've got partly cloudy skies out there, dry conditions. The only significant change and difference is going to be the breeze that comes through today. So we've got 20 mile per hour gusts possible into your uh, late morning and afternoon hours. It looks like closer to the eastern slopes of the Cascades and across western Montana. We could see upwards of 30 mile per hour gusts, but in Spokane, going to stay a little bit lighter, uh, but just breezy is what we're calling it. Uh, Deep learner forecast shows that right now we're already starting to warm up near 50 degrees, which is a nice start to the day. 60 is that temperature just about noon, and then 67, that forecast high for the afternoon. Future tracker does show that we stay dry all the way through the day, but computer models show a pretty intense system off the coast of Oregon as we head into your Wednesday early morning hours. Here's 7.30 a.m. Notice there is no wet weather across eastern Washington or north Idaho quite yet. That wet weather is reserved for uh, about the afternoon. So closer to about noon, we'll see a widespread system appear. And in just a few minutes, we'll walk through how that's going to look for us specifically with uh, a zoomed in picture of our region. So that's coming up in just a bit. But for now, Joshua, I'll send things back over to you. Thank you very much, Evan. 634 now. Here are three things that you need to know this morning. Spokane County Health Officer Dr. Bob Lutz has some words of caution for people protesting Washington's stay-at-home order. Lutz says the reopening of the economy too early could lead to another surge in cases. My big concern going proactively and prospectively is that there's going to be so much of a push to open things up. It's Pandora's box. It's that monster behind the door that we've opened things up and all of a sudden we don't like what we see. We don't like what we've opened up, and then I've got to slam the door shut. Now, Washington's stay-at-home order is in effect through May 4th. There is no word yet on if that will be extended so far. Now, a federal judge in California has ordered ICE to actively review cases of all detained immigrants at increased risk of severe illness or death when it comes to the coronavirus. The judge also ordered ICE to determine whether high-risk detainees should be released to shield them from the virus as well.
And oil prices have plunged below zero for the first time as demand for energy collapsed amid the coronavirus pandemic. CBS News reports that the oil market will likely continue to be pressured over the coming weeks. We'll keep our eye on this. And a record number of people have filed for unemployment throughout the state of Washington, and it's caused some major backlogs into the state's unemployment website. We welcome in Jane York once again with a look at how the delay in benefits is affecting one small business owner. Yeah, good morning, Joshua. Mitzi Lawson is a massage therapist and a part time miniature horse trainer. So she kind of juggles, you know, a lot of different careers there. But we're talking about her experience here and applying for unemployment benefits. So, like hundreds of thousands of others in the state, she is now unemployed with our social distancing measures in place. So, up until this past weekend, she and other self employed people did not qualify for those unemployment benefits. Though now that we have expanded those benefits to people who have worked part time or who work in the gig economy, they can apply for those benefits. They say once they were able to get on that website, they were locked out. It just said uh, website was down, website was down, cannot load, reload. And just anything and everything, it just was not going to connect up. And then when I did connect up, finally, it booted me off in just a couple minutes. Now, on Sunday, a record 182,000 people filed for unemployment benefits in Washington, and workers say it just overwhelmed the state's website. Experts say people unable to get into the system should just keep trying. Now, Lawson says she will survive this bout of unemployment, but without financial help, she says it will be tough. Of course, if you have any questions about applying for unemployment, you can text unemployment to our text line. That is 509-448-2000. And there you'll be linked back with some information about benefits and any other pertinent information that you need to know when applying for unemployment. Joshua? Thank you very much, Jen. 637 now here on Up With Krim. Time once again to check in with our own Dane Marie McNichol, who tells us this morning about a nonprofit that's stepping it up to make sure people have food on their tables. Good morning, Dana Marie. Good morning, Joshua. That's right. Today's Inland Together moment is brought to you by Spokane Food Fighters. And their goal is just that, just to make sure that everyone has food on their tables. Everyone deserves that. And this nonprofit was actually just recently created because of the coronavirus outbreak and to feed our community during this unprecedented time. So here's how it works. Spokane Food Finders and local restaurants are working together to provide healthy and delicious meals for people who are experiencing food insecurity during this time. They are next day emergency meal needs for those who have not been able to be helped through channels like spoke their school district, food pantry, second harvest or meals on wheels and community partners are really making this happen right now. Hi, Chef Adam Hexted here. I'm at Wandering Table, the new pickup point for Spokane Food Fighters. Uh, we do 100 to 200 meals a day for anyone that needs it. Um, kind of trying to create delicious foods for, uh, you know, whoever needs a little bit of help. Now, Wandering Table did post on Facebook sharing a quote saying, we know this is a tough time for everyone with many of our own staffing having to be unemployed. Every day we'll be creating as many meals as are needed and we have funding and donations for. Now, Adam did share with me that he is donating the labor of his chefs and the space for, from his kitchens to make the food. Now, the cost of the meals are provided by donations and other community partners. So this is also helping restaurants as well. So today we made a orange chicken and over noodles. And I just wanted to thank uh, Spokane Food Fighters for delivering meals and the community for their support. All food is microwave ready and includes a protein, starch, and vegetable. Anyone with emergency meal needs who cannot currently afford food qualifies for this help. Now, if this is something that you find helpful for yourself, you should find the information on your screen. Meals are ordered through their website at spokanefoodfighters.org. Now, if you're in a position to even donate, they're asking for people to help deliver meals. You can also see that information on how to volunteer on your screen and how to contact them to get 
involved. Now their goal is just to keep feeding as many people as they can and they only have a limited number of meals per day um, and people can apply every single day to see if they can get one of those meals. So if you don't get in today, check back in tomorrow. But their goal again is just to help um, as many people as they can and local restaurants doing their part as well. If you want the information sent directly to your phone, text 509-448-2000. Text the word food. 509-448-2000. Joshua. And Dana Marie, of course, these are very capable, very trusted hands of chefs to make this food for us. It sounds like it would actually be pretty delicious. It looks delicious. Oh my gosh, the food and the videos that Adam sent us in from Wandering Table. Uh, no Lie also participates in this. In, in He also owns, Adam, um, part of like Gilded Unicorn, mm. The Yard's Brunchin, um, Incredible Burger. So there's, a, you know, they have a large community of restaurants too as well. So just a cool thing to help out right now. Love to see the way that we're inland together this morning. And thank you for joining us this morning, Dana Marie. At 641 now <laughs> here on Up With Krim, taking another look outside as the sun hits Spokane. It's going to be dry today, but we're going to tell you about the trends that are on their way coming up today and throughout the rest of the week. Also, coming up on our Krim 2 News at Noon, our text experts will answer your questions. You can text us anything that you want to know about the tech world right now. This could include FaceTiming or Zoom, anything like that. It's up to you. Send us your questions at 509-448-2000. And we could be addressing your questions on our noon show, our Creme 2 News at Noon.